This interesting private footage of the 29th Motorized Infantry Division fits in well with today's video. Stick around and see how. It's worth it. I promise. The German Panorama in Color newsreels were produced monthly during 1944 and 45 and were shown in both neutral and occupied European countries. The content of this episode from the end of 1944 includes visiting a glass blowing workshop, an overview of the acts of a circus, mountain troops on the eastern flank of the Italian front, an article from a 1944 Die Wehrmacht periodical. The effects of a Soviet bombing raid on a base in Norway. The setting up of anti-submarine nets by a German naval unit. And then finally, some more of that private footage. Use the timestamp in the description to navigate through the content. Wie aus einer Alchemistenküche muten diese Bilder aus einer Glasbläserei an. Hier wird Farbglas hergestellt. Durch gleichzeitiges Blasen und Schwenken entstehen die zwei Meter langen Glasröhren. Im Steckofen entstehen breite Glasflächen. Die Glasfabrik fertigt daraus Scheiben für die Signallampen der Reichsbahn. Ein Querschnitt durch das Programm des Deutschen Zirkus Busch. Meister Ullmann mit seinen zwölf Araberhengsten. Dolinda, die balancierende Anmut auf dem Drahtseil. Blas in einem Radfahrakt. Das Trio Duxa. aus den Kriegsgebieten. An der Adria. In den italienischen Alpen. Eine 
Trägerkolonne im Schneesturm. einer deutschen Bergstellung. This is a complete collection of 1943 and 1944 periodicals of the Die Wehrmacht series. We'll take a look at number three that was published on February 2nd of 1944. This article that covers German Gebirgsjäger or mountain troops fits in well. It's titled Apfelsinen in 2700 meter hoher. It reads, high above the clouds in the snow and ice is situated the German mountain troops base in the Maiella mountain range on the eastern side of the Italian front. Operating here is strenuous. Day after day, the men have to carry munitions, supplies, and wood, climbing 2,000 meters of elevation to reach the base. The text for the photo on the left reads, a wonderful surprise at 2,700 meters of elevation. In the supplies, they managed to bring up oranges, which are a welcome change to their usual rations. And below, a perfect use for the roof of the tent. It's a beautiful Sunday, surrounded by snow-capped mountaintops. The valley down below remains hidden underneath a layer of clouds. Here, the warm rays of sunlight are used to quickly dry the men's socks. This is especially interesting. It's titled Conserven Schweben Uren Pripiet. After weeks of frost, when the real cold weather sets in, that's when the ice forming on the Pripiet River begins to crack and then, in large chunks, breaks free to be carried swiftly by the current. Not everywhere can strong bridges be built that can withstand the collisions that ensue. Because of this, gondolas are built, capable of securing the continued flow of supplies. Two strong cables to the side of the basket are used by the engineers to pull their way across the open spans. The basket, the engineers, the supplies, and the munitions swaying high in the air are carefully followed from one bank to the other by powerful spotlights. If the collection has not yet been sold, there's a link to it in the comment section below. Eine norwegische Ortschaft nach einem sowjetischen Fliegerangriff. Netzleger der deutschen Kriegsmarine bei der Arbeit. Bootnetze werden klar zum Auslegen gemacht. Verwirrende Wirrnis.
Angriff ruft die Männer an die Geschütze. Here's more of that private footage I promised. Patreon supporters gain regular access to exclusive film footage that can't be shown here. For example, this entire reel. I encourage you to join our community.